here with tight end Mark Redman after Corona Del Mar defeated Sarah from San Mateo to cap off the undefeated season and the state championship. Uh, Mark, some days you're doing more blocking, some days you're doing more pass catching. You're one of the leading receivers for a tight end in the country in yardage. Uh, tonight you did a lot of both and a lot of catching. Uh, how do you pick your spots as a tight end? Like, do you go into some games thinking, uh, today I'm gonna be getting a lot more targets? Or uh, how, how, how does that play out? Uh, I mean, it's it's hard for the other team to defend because we got we got stellar wide receivers outside, and then we got an O line up front that can punish people, and the running back can make a hole. So, I mean, we got a lot of both. We got the best to both worlds, uh, luckily. So I'm I'm able to go out and route sometimes, catching balls. Then I'm also able to get my hand down in the dirt and get dirty. It's really fun. And uh, speaking of your O line, it always comes up with you guys in terms of the size, the the amount of pounds. One of the smallest O lines at this level of play, uh, but. In terms of how much they get it done every single night, uh, they, they well, no one can question them. Uh, how are you, how is this offensive line, uh, and yourself included, how, um, how are you guys so effective as a unit when you go up against so many lines that are just 50, 60 pounds bigger at each position? Uh, it all starts schematically, uh, in my opinion. The coaches really rep it a lot at practice, and I mean, from our 205 guard to our 200. 25 guard. I mean, then we got a 270 center. We don't have the biggest line, but they get it done. They wrap it. They get their pads low. And I mean, if it wasn't for them, there is no way we'd be 16 and 0 right now. And uh, 16 and 0. Uh, what do you think the legacy of this Corona Del Mar team? Obviously, so many seniors. Uh, you being one of them. Uh, if it wasn't this year, it was you know the window kind of passes, perhaps. Uh, what what is the legacy, and how much more does it mean given that there's so many seniors on this team? Uh, it's it's awesome for me. I mean, to leave this legacy on the kids that are coming up. I mean, a program like this, everyone's proud. Uh, my brother, who won it in 2013, I can finally say it now that I've, I'm I'm equal to him. We both got a 16 and 0 ring, so that's that's gonna be awesome as well. Heck yeah! And uh, for you, the next time you play organized football, it's gonna be at the University of Washington. Yes, sir. Uh, so two questions about that. One, how much sweeter is it knowing that your quarterback is going to be there with you? And two, uh, when when do you start focusing on getting ready for that as opposed to just being in this moment and celebrating? Uh, it's First off, it's amazing to have Ethan there. I mean, if you can get anything like that, we tried to get John, but I mean, he went his way and hats off to him. He's an amazing player, but it's going to be awesome to be there with Ethan. Uh, I mean, we're, we'll, we'll take the day. I mean, I mean, we're done now. So, so we'll take a couple of days to see what happens, um, and then we got to get started next week. Awesome. Well, uh, thanks again. Congratulations on the amazing career, the amazing season, uh, the championship, and all of that. Thank you.